I don't know, they look pretty alike to me. Hey guys, welcome back to Give Your Hair a Kiss. I'm Kiss, and this is the blowout brush comparison video. Wow, these are big. This is like, this is a lot to have two sitting here. Okay, great. Hey, hi, if you're new here, hit subscribe. I'm here for you every Tuesday with my own brand of beauty nonsense. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing, give me a kiss, give me a like, share it all around. Let's get into this video. So I had previously, in another video, um, tested out the bedhead one step uh, blowout, you know, hot air brush. Um, and I love it, and I've been using it, and I like it, and it's great, um, but, but there's so many of these brushes on the market, you know, like, like we were talking about in that blowout brush video, you know, Revlon's got one, um, I think John Frieda has one, whatever. So there's all these companies with them. So, where do they get them? You get the brandless blowout brush, which is what we have here. So this brush is from a um, beauty supplier, so there's no brand on this yet. Um, it might have my brand on it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes here in the video today. Um, and we're gonna we're just gonna compare a couple things about these two brushes and if it works as well, this brandless brush works as well as the bedhead brush. I think I'm gonna give this a kiss. Slap my label on it, throw it on the website. You know what I mean? Get what I'm saying? So let's let's start with the obvious when we're looking at any tool. And that is sight on scene packaging. Okay, here we go. Here's the packaging. The bed head packaging is like, bam! It's like, buy me, get me. The box itself is a very unique shape. It's got this bright yellow, this bright pink. They do well with all the buzzwords. So the tool is actually called Blowout Freak, I guess. Um, Bump it, oval design for max volume and control, which I do like. Um, one step, dry in volume. Dare to go fast. Fast? Fast. Dare to go fast! Exclamation point. Um, so right off the bat, this packaging is like, whoa! Bam! Oh my god, here we go. I love this little excerpt here. How it works. Blowout Free keeps your mane in check in one step. The Ego Boost mixed pattern bristles give you fearless volume and add definition and texture for a smooth, bolder style. I love that. So their brush combo, they straight up just called the Ego Booster. Cute, we're gonna talk about those bristles. Um, the packaging for the brandless one, you see, it is clean, clear packaging. So this is wholesaler packaging um, and it's just, one machine for multiple use, smooth, frizz-free, blowouts in half the time, straightening and drying, hot hairbrush. Easy breezy, frizz-free, blowouts and shine in up to half the time. Um, great, yes, okay. Tell, do they have anything to, okay, yes. Reliable, tangle-free bristles, it can smoothen style and dry hair in a short time while the massaging bowl tips it while while the massaging ball tip is gentle to scalp. Sorry, that was a weird sentence. And I never learned to read. Um, so not a lot of buzz on this packaging, but the whole intention behind the wholesaler item is to do this custom per product, you know what I mean, per tool. So, you know, this is where your wholesalers would package this for you and do the, give your hair a kiss, hot hairbrush, na 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 na. So, great. Um, let's talk price point before we plug these guys in. The Bedhead Blowout Brush, the Blowout Freak, I grabbed from Amazon for 40 bucks. Um, and then the brandless wholesale hot hair brush. You'll typically see these retail between 20 to 25 dollars, up to 30 dollars for a lot of these guys. Um, so let's see if the price point, like, you know what I mean? This guy's already going to be even if if we sell this for 30 bucks, 
This is already $10 more. So what does my $10 get me? Yeah, aha! Let's plug them in. The first thing you notice when you go to plug them in, our bed head, one step blow dryer blowout freak, has the uh, reset switch on the plug. So we've got this added, I guess we can call it a safety feature. Whereas our brandless wholesale brush is just your, your straight plug. Does it really make a difference? In my house, not really. But I mean, I guess that may vary depending on uh, apartment to apartment. I will say, I have 100 year old wiring and you know, it can be a crapshoot with do I need this? Do I need this? Am I gonna just be resetting the outlet itself over and over? You never know, let's find out. Let's plug them in. I do like that they both have the Velcro cord wrap. I'm a little nuts about my cords. I don't like, guys, side tip. Don't wrap your cords like this. Why do you guys do that? Please, please don't do that. Do you know what that does? That breaks inside the core, you're not gonna get as much power cord life out of your device, okay? Let's keep the cord healthy, extend the life of our tools, wrap them up separately. You can get these little Velcro cord wraps. You know what? Maybe I'll, I'll just put a link. Um, the bed head one, when you plug it in, no lights. Our wholesale brush lights up. Got a little blue light to tell you She's active. We're going to need a lovely assistant for this. Miss Kim! Hello, Miss Kim. How are you today? Doing all right? Good. I grabbed Miss Kim. Uh, she's already shampooed. I sectioned her out so that we can compare one side of the head to the other with each tool. I didn't feel like washing her bags because they're laying really cute today. So we're just gonna let that be. We're gonna work on the back of her head. Cool, cool, great. Get over here, get those boxes out of my way. All right. So let's go ahead. We're gonna say this side of the head is our bed head brush, right? Let's take that some sections. Are they power, you know what? Let's turn them both on real quick. Low. the same power to them. Um, the vents are a little different. Our bed head guy has extra vents on the bottom. These extra little side vents and the very bottom. Whereas our wholesaler, no vents here, just vents on the bottom. So there's another tiny difference. In terms of bristles, they're about the same. They do both have that combination for hair and detangling bristle. Um, I can see in the bed head one, they're a little shorter than in the wholesale one. So we'll see. I mean, they're about the same. This one just might've gotten a little more because I've been using it. So they're a little spread out right now. So actually the bristles are about the same and the shape on top is a little different. Um, this one obviously fits really well in the hand. This one's a little bit wider of an oval, so we'll see how that goes. Start with the bed head. Let's do that. I'm gonna click her up to high.
Okay, it does what it says. We've got a pretty smooth, I mean, it's mannequin head hair, so, you know, you gotta be a little forgiving with it, but it's relatively smooth, you know, aside from where I need to cut it still, but we got that volume. That was quick, that was easy. All I did was just blow dry into the root with it, roll it down. Easy breezy beautiful. So we're gonna compare it side by side with uh, with our wholesale brush, okay? We're just going for a little dance, me and Miss Kim. Mm -hmm. um, I do like, while I'm moving hair, I like how the brush grabs the hair and like really gets that tension with minimal effort from your, your wrist movement. Um, because it's a larger tool, like yeah, it's, you know, my hands naturally want to do the blow dryer and brush blowout method. I feel like if, you know what, we'll try this on my head too, because I feel like the natural thing to do if you want volume is to dry it all forward and then whoop, flip it. Let's try it. Right off the bat, this shape is a little harder to rotate, but I do like how much it grabs into the hair. So it's got like a stiffer forehair bristle that's just pulling into the hair. She's lighter too. She's lighter in the hand, which I love. Okay. Wholesale brush. Beautiful volume. You really can't tell that this was two different brushes. Um, but look at, okay. This is the side from the bedhead brush. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's got volume, it's smooth. But the volume on this guy, I'm like, I'm impressed. I am impressed with the wholesaler brush. Um, okay, a couple things. I like, again, how well those bristles really grab in the hair. I like that it's a little bit lighter. Um, 
especially if you're doing this on your own hair, you want a lightweight tool when you're back here. Um, I do like the shape on top of the bed. I had one just a little bit better. It's just easier to grab and rotate. Um, whereas this one, what I was finding, because it's about half the height and more oval, my finger was wanting to hit the metal and this metal does get a little hot. So I had to be kind of aware of that. However, you really only need that when you're like rolling. But if I were, when in doubt, be your own guinea pig, right? Like I, my instinct is to kind of touch the top to rotate it. Um, but you can just kind of brush it through. And I feel like that gets the hot air on the root a little better using one of these brushes. So in conclusion, aside from the top bit, I'm actually liking our brandless wholesaler brush a little more. And honestly, it's... <sighs> so it's hard for me to say that because, you know, this guy is like pink. It is pink, 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 and I love that. And this is a solid freaking tool. But if it's something I've got to hold for like a whole head of hair and not just the five hairs on my head, I think I'm gonna lean for our wholesale hot hairbrush. So next time you see this brush, will probably be on my website, giverhairkiss.com. Uh, you can also grab this guy. I've got an affiliate link to Amazon for this lovely tool. I do love this tool. I'm gonna use both. Um, but if I've gotta do some, some labor, I'm gonna reach for this guy. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me today while we compare two different brands, Brandless and Bedhead of the One Step Glow Out brushes. Um, you can follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, Give Your Hair a Kiss. Check out my products and exclusive offers at GiveYourHairAKiss.com while you're there and find yourself in the New York City area. Book your hair appointment with me here at the kissing booth, ha <laughs> ha in beautiful Queens. Um, yes, so, a lot of stuff, a lot of things. Get yourself a blowout brush, and until next Tuesday, guys, give your hair a kiss.